So when we define Avogadro's number in A, that's Avogadro's number. If you ever see this in a book, this is what you substitute in your mind. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Avogadro's number is truly enormous. So enormous that I can't even visualize what an Avogadro's number worth of something would be. But that's okay. Because you see, atoms are so small, I can't visualize that either. I mean, I know that they're small, but conceptually, how small? I don't think any of us can really understand how small an atom actually is compared to an everyday object. That's why Avogadro's number is so big, because we're counting atoms. Just like there's 12 eggs in a dozen, or 12 sticks in a dozen sticks, well, there are this many uh, Avogadro's number in what we call a new unit of measurement called the mole. The mole is what we talk about. The, the mole is the counting unit equivalent to it or similar to a dozen. And the number attached to the mole of, of, of a quantity of a mole of something is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules or whatever it is we're discussing. That's how many individual objects there are. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.